home for my daily bike ride. Got to go to the store, get some papers. I'm just not feeling. The last couple of days, I just ain't been. I don't know. I've been. I guess you could say kind of sad. I just. when my chain just popped off but it didn't it just stopped pedaling for a second my kitty kitty underneath the truck right there I'm gonna just go for a short bike ride today this will be like a two mile bike ride, maybe three. Might decide to go a little out of my way, but I, I've been missing, missing my dogs. These people here, how I helped them one time, free of charge. They was moving, so I helped them move. working on remodeling this house. It's been sitting empty for years, for years, years. That house over there, that white one, I helped remodel it and then the guy after we modeled it and he spent all this money remodeling it. Uh, is the kidney or the liver that you have to do dialysis on? He ended up dying because his liver or kidney shut down. He was a cool dude. Now I gotta watch right here because this fucking dog has bit me. It's fucking fuck. I can't stand. I gotta every time I walk by, come by here, I'm fucking panicked. There it is over there by the car sitting. Hopefully they don't hear me or see me. Because they will come fucking running. You better be quiet, little dude. And wake him up. Get him over here after me. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, there's a scar on my leg from that damn dog fucking pit bull biting me. Got all infected and shit, because I guess the dog had nasty teeth or whatever. Uphill, no hands. You got the judge living there. We got where this white car is over here. That's the uh That's the sheriff who beats his up his girlfriends. I don't know how he keeps being a sheriff. He keep gets to keep his job when he's assaulting his girlfriends and shit, but I guess if you're a cop you can you think you're above the law and all your little buddies fucking protect you this, this this these cops in this town they're fucking shit people get murdered cases just go unsolved like they make it to where what is going on with my chain look at it why is it doing that never had a problem with my bike like this This church up here, this big one on the right hand side up here, used to be called Knox Mansion. And back when I was younger, we'd go to it for Halloween and they have a cool ass haunted house in that mother. But you see these big old concrete pillars? They're all around town. Because the one person that owned that mansion owned half this town at one point. But it burned down and the church got built in its place but there's the used to be able to walk to the doors and, and just imagine that all that land being your front yard it's a lot of fucking mowing mom lives right over there i wonder if she's 
home. Let's see when I get down here. Uh, I don't see her car. But yeah, she lives right down over there. It's crazy. They gave her a house. A duplex house. Some people just gave it to her. Just gave it. Came to her one day and they said, we need to talk to you. She thought that they was going to kick her out and everything. They just gave her the property. Mind blowing. You never know. There is good people in this world. They're few and far between. But I guess everybody's finally buying all the trees. This whole place is full of trees. Well, here we are. The cheapest place to buy my papers. The good old grocery store. Hello, how you doing? Who, who sold the puppies? I said, no, my cousin's girlfriend gets all the puppies while I give him a dose of Pepto tonight. How, you what want kind, a puppy? What kind of dogs you got? Uh, they're half German Shepherd. Oh, I want a small dog. I've just lost both my dogs, like literally. Uh, I'm going to say, my dog honestly, of they're not going to be super, super tall. Yeah. About, well, yeah. Their cousin's only that tall. Most, yeah. All of them are only about yay big. They're, they're a little on the short side for a medium size. Do dog. you have a phone? I can give I you. Actually got pictures. Do you? Yeah. I just took hey, videos. Let's get, let's get over here on this side. I so just we took don't videos of them earlier today. Because I was gone for almost two weeks. I could see all the fur on you from yeah, you I loving mean, the puppies. Oh, well, that's all my dogs. <laughs> oh, you, 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 yeah, I had. have way too many. My dog died. And there's Wookie, the littlest, the one of my favorites. Uh, and there, see, there's our cousin. She's not that big. Actually, no. She's a half. She's a half sister to all these guys. That one's actually. Where do you favorite. Where do you live? You know where Brad Street is. Brad Street. You know where the elementary school is. Yeah. <laughs> it's the very end of it on the left hand side. Oh, so so like if I'm going, oh on at, on the school road. Okay. Because I live on Sixth Street okay. in the Silver Trader. Uh, where Brad Street is down here. It's, Okay, you got the elementary school. Mm -hmm. The road right next to it as you're going towards Wichita Falls. It's right past where there's like a trailer and there's some houses right up in there. Uh, like you have to literally get on the highway and then drive up to the left a little bit by the car lot, past the car lot. Car lot. No, it's the car lot. Uh. Okay, like I said, here's the elementary school. Yeah. Okay. This is the road beside the elementary, elementary school. school. It's right behind it. Because you pass the elementary school like you're going towards Wichita yeah. Falls. And as soon as you pass it, get in the turning lane, and it's the road, like, right there. Just right. before the blinking light for the school zone. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, I know where, exactly where you're talking about now. All yeah. right. I may actually stop by. Uh, i got to do a little shopping and stuff and run a few errands. Yeah, because, uh... But, yeah, um... Because that's not the... Uh, we've got an older pup that I'd like to really get rid of first. Where is he? Did you say a pug? Pup. Oh, a pup. Uh, where is the picture of that little fucker? There he is. <laughs> and because his brother, I've got one of his brothers I can't get rid of. How big is he? Uh, he's about four months old. So <laughs> she's been around him a lot more than I. Like I said, I just got home Monday. Yeah. From being gone. Who, the blonde hair, the red blue hair? Girl? The blue hair. I'll, I'll ask her about it with your name. Yeah, Jennifer, just Jennifer. ask her about Bat. Bat? Yeah, that's his uh, nickname. All right. Well, when he was a puppy, he had really big ears that were floppy. Yeah. And when he choked her out. I got you. And then when they one would stand up, and so I started calling him Bat just because of how big his ears were. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Right. It, it, it just depends. Sometimes it's the bat ears. I'd come to you, but I got to get rolling papers. She's like, I'll cut over there. That come in the morning? Like, or like around noon or so? Noon. Catch it? Mm-hmm. How are we doing today? I'm all right. You know how us men are.
we're okay even when we're not okay. You know what I mean? That's right. We just got to keep, keep kicking. I'm never okay. <laughs> we can tell. Can Your hair. No, I'm just kidding. Right? Can I get a pack of the bugler rolling papers, the blue ones? The, yeah, just one. The, just one. One ninety four. Do y'all? Hmm? I talked to my internet company and they said that y'all I could pay here. Like, buy, buy internet. I don't know. I just, you know, I've never, I always pay over the phone and now they're charging me extra money to pay with my credit card over the phone and. They're like, well, I said, is there a place? And they said it here at Lowe's. But I've just never been here, so I'm not going to pay it right now. I was just curious. I don't know. Nobody's ever asked that. Now, I know uh, it was at Dollar General. They have the uh, AT&T, the little card type deal. Yeah. Whatever, and they can put money on that card. Yeah. 1806, but I never known to... Do it here. All right, thank you, ma'am. I'll, I'll I'll find out. You have a good day. God bless everybody. I don't know. I'm not looking for a big dog. They got big dogs. Them big dogs. I ain't not looking. I want a big dog. All righty. Here we go. Back to my ride. Kind of curious. I kind of want to ride out the lake, but if I go out there, I'm going to want to swim. And I can't swim because my arm's broken. And the last time I did that, I nearly drowned, so I learned my lesson. That old lady that just drove by in that black car, her grandson in prison for a long time he was a cool dude but uh, he kept a secret for a lot of years no one knew he was a pedo and they caught his ass and he went to jail and that's where he deserves to be now this church over here this one i was talking about knox mansion boy they are, uh, I was, I like Easter, just like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna describe, I'm gonna actually do it. So here we go. I was riding by, and it was like the week before Easter. It was week, the week of Easter Sunday. And all these kids are out here Easter egg hunting, and they're looking for a gold egg. And some kid, he goes, hey, sir, have you seen a gold egg? And then all the adults started yelling at him, telling him, get out of the flower bed. This one right here, back there. There's there's no eggs in there. There's no eggs in there. And I got about right here. Some little smart ass, little fucking punk ass kid. He goes, you want to take me home, Predator? And he thought he was just going to get away with it. I fucking turned around. I jumped off this bike and started walking right through. through there. there was hundreds of kids out there, so just... Keep that in mind. And I said, who are your parents? I want to talk to your fucking parents. My parents ain't here. I said, well, I want to talk to whoever brought you here. Because what you said is inappropriate. Boy, you should have seen the fear in this kid's eyes. I don't know what ever happened to him. But uh, I definitely um, talked to some, uh, some adults. And they said that they would relay the message to... Uh, the parents but yeah just because you see some dude riding a bike down the road doesn't give you the right to talk fucking shit yeah i hope he got in trouble boy but you should have seen it he just thought he was gonna just fucking get away with it who is this over here i've never seen that you all right there brother he looked like he was alone. All right. This church is at every Wednesday. They serve meals. All 
these churches are, you can go to all of them, none of them will help you pay any bills if you're struggling. They won't do nothing. Nothing. And this town has, there's another, there's another church. So we got church, church, there's a church right there, right next to it, the church, there's four churches just right here. I think this town has like 37 churches. It's crazy. Crazy. I don't know why I rode this way. Cause that's a big ass fucking hill. But oh well. We're out for a bike ride. So it'll be alright. These people, I should probably come talk to these people and see if they need somebody over there. You are. Looks like some money right there. Look at that. There's growth up here. But you know, most of the time you see houses like that, they can't afford to mow. Like, people in this town, you see this big ass field next to me? They'll want you to mow it for $10 and think you made a profit. It's wild. It's crazy, crazy. That's like a $100, $100 mow. I'd call it twice a month, so about, I'd, I'd say 150 a month, so, you know, you're looking at 80 bucks a month, twice a month, but no one wants to pay that. They all want to fucking nickel and dime you, and they'll tell you, oh, man, my guy mowed me for this much. Well, where's your guy at? But I always ask him. Apparently, he's not doing a good job, because... And up here where this car is, I had a buddy that uh, he was a cool young kid, man. He was only like 16 years old. And he was so trapped in the love of his girlfriend when she bought him. Broke up with him, he hung himself in that tree right back there. And his grandpa came home, found him hanging in the tree. It's crazy. Oh. How you been? Is that where you are staying or just you? Heck yeah. That's the, the, that's the son of the, the lady of her grandson's in prison. He's a cool dude. We're gonna go over here and see if I can get some fucking work. I bet he'll say no. He always does, but if you don't stop and ask, you don't know. <laughs> knock it, knock, knock, knock. What you up to? Working? Nothing. Hoping you had something going on. <laughs> yeah. You know everything's doing alright? Yep, minding my business, staying in my fucking self, you know me. You know what I mean? In this damn town, if you could, you could stay home and you get rumors spread about you. I'm like, damn, bro, I ain't even. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't been awake that day long. <laughs> I've always wanted to see in this house. Cause I know, I know old Cracky Jackie used to live in this damn thing. Was it horrible? You didn't have a floor, you know? Wow. You had nothing, there wasn't nothing but dirt floors in here when I started. Really? Wow. Oh, and there she is. Her name's still up there. Wow. Her son's getting done. Oh, this is, they actually owned this house? Yeah, they're still here. Both of them work at the lumberyard. Oh, shit. Jackson, the biggest one. Wow. He worked behind the counter. The other one worked in the yard. Oh, she went. I only I thought Jackie only had a daughter. I didn't know that she had some. Two boys. Two boys and a girl. I, I didn't know she had a daughter. Yeah, I, I knew her. I knew her daughter, but I didn't know her sons. Big, big, big guys, man. 
Jackie was a good person, but you know, she had her, her ups and downs, she know. had, everyone has bumps in life, you know what I mean? Right. And if you get stuck on that, that hard drugs, mm -hmm. it's hard to fucking get off that yeah, shit. Man. And a lot of people are dying from that shit in this town. And now I'm watching the fentanyl. I haven't seen any deaths here in Jacksboro or anyone knowing about fentanyl, but yeah. I know there's a lot of young kids dying from yeah, that yeah, shit. Lots of them. A lot of them, man. Yeah. Like people lacing marijuana joints and shit and yeah, not telling yeah. people. And then some 16 year old boy or little girl goes and smokes a joint and fucking next thing you know, they're fucking overdosing and dead. It's just yep. like, wow, yep. it's, it's crazy. Crazy shit. Crazy, crazy, crazy shit. Well, keep me in mind if anything ever comes up and you need a little bit of help. Oh, appreciate it. I'm just... Appreciate it, appreciate it. You never know. I say, yeah, you all, I, all I can do is ask, you know, every time I, I see a job. Okay. Mother and I be like, yeah, I do need some help, you know what I mean? Yes, this is the way it goes. How's Mikey doing? He's doing all right. He's still out in Lake Whitney. Lake Whitney. He's down, he's down, he's down, he's down my house right now. Oh, really? Yeah, he's he, he going back here today, so. Yeah. He, he made my sister come down for Mother's Day. Right. They figured they should get my mom for you know, a little bit. Yeah. He's pretty, you know, he's fucking, you know, you know, Mikey. Yeah. <laughs> Is he still fucking with that shit? I don't know. I hope not. Yeah, I, I didn't really notice, you know. Yeah. I haven't been paying attention to him. Yeah. Yeah, I've been working, working until dark. And come home, come eat, home, shower, and fucking that's sleep. That's it, man. I don't know how that, that goes. That's it. I didn't go. Man, I think I would have turned that into a loft and made it a little bedroom. Like, but you know, you can make that into a bedroom up there. Have you a little ladder over here somewhere where you climb up? Well, they're both a, you know what I mean? They're it would make it. Tall, so. It would make it. You know, but you're going up there to lay down. You know what yeah. I mean? They, they would work. Yeah, that's it. Because I remember Jackie. I'd come. I'd come by sometimes, and she, oh, I'm locked out. She'd be crawling in that window over there. <laughs> that one window that's taped up. That's what's her in and out. <laughs> well, I'll let you get out of here, man, and keep working. You have a good man. You stuff by, man. Oh, hell, no problem. I just out on my bike ride. Had to go to the store and get me some rolling papers because I was out of papers for my tobacco. Shit. It's the middle of the month and it's already rough. You usually don't get rough until the end of the month, but shit. Them bills, they're killing people. The price of living is just too damn expensive. Have a good one, brother. Like I said. Like I said, never. Here's another church. Here's another church right here. Here we go, man. All uphill. I'm gonna pedal with no hands all the way up. Let's hope I can do it. I know I can. Actually, that, that pile of trash right there is where I got this bike. And people, there was a big ass trailer full of fucking bicycles and scrap metal and shit. And I just happened to stop and ask. This is like 19 years ago now. Stopped and asked, what are you doing with them bikes? And they're like, that's my daughter. Da, 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 da. All right. This is where it gets rough. The roughing. Wow, they may looking good. Looking good. They fixing it up. Wow. They tearing it all down. And this dude look like one. Whoo. Rolling. Lake power. I wish y'all could see how steep this fucking hill is. Cause it's pretty damn steep. I'm just curious. They've been remodeling the... Oh, I had to grab my hands. Grab my handlebars. They've been remodeling this hell. What the hell? How long? It, uh, what it looks like in here yet.
Ooh. Wow. Hello, hello. Man, it looks good in here. Yeah, it looks real nice though. From the last time I came in here. How have you been? I hear that. Looks nice. Not how much longer y'all think until completely complete? Another 10 years? I was hoping of the beginning of June, but we're still working in there. But Eric Sully's coming back to work in a few days, so we'll have a little more. Uh, we'll have a little more help, and that'll be good. That's good. It will be good. What are you up to? Out riding around, taking a bike ride. Try yeah. to try to ride every day, get a little exercise. Yeah. Had to go to the grocery store and. Well, then. <laughs> took the long way home, so I thought when well, on the way by, I'd stop in here and just see what the progress was. It's see how y'all ladies are doing. It's, it's, it's it looks perfect. good. It looks way better. At least it looks starting to look like a library compared yeah. to what it was last time I came in here, which is open floors. Yeah. Well. <laughs> That room in there, we still got a lot we're going through, but um, that's that's it. Okay. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Oh, well, I'm fixing to have to go. Our granddaughter graduates, oh. and um, tonight is their banquet for graduation. It, well, for the SFA, which is what she's big in, so I have to go pick up Kenny. What's she raising? Oh, she didn't this year, but she did contests. She she was real good at doing contests. So that's what she did this year. Like contests, like what do you mean contests? Uh, she did range judging and she did. Oh, okay. Uh, so she was like kind of like judging the animals and stuff like that? Well, sort of? the grounds on where about raising them. Oh, okay. You know, that sort of thing. So, uh, they went to nationals. They got fifth in well, the good. nation, which is pretty good. What is this book? That's a pretty cover. What? Oh, that's oh, not that's even a book. No. I was like, that's a cool looking book. Yeah. Ain't even a book. I three of those. <laughs> I use them all the time. <laughs> the other day we saw, um, Claude heard, and, and we were talking about something. I don't know. Claude didn't get around very much. No, I'm I'm taking care of his yard for he, him. That's what he told me. He said, Teddy Bokeham. I said, I know that name. He didn't call you Teddy Ray. He didn't hear me. He said, that's Teddy Ray. I said, oh, he just said Teddy. You know? Yeah, I used to I used to weed eat for him when I first got to town, and then my equipment got stolen. I I mowed a lot of people's yard when I first got to town, but then my equipment got stolen, and I just kind of got out of that. And I'd say about the middle of last year, sometime right before winter, like I got to mow like a couple times before winter, before the grass stopped. He came by my house and, man, you wouldn't have him to come help me mow my yard, would you? And well, I was I'm like, sure. We tried to take you know. him to ball games, but he doesn't get around very much. Uh-uh, he's... The, well... Like, he, he wants to, he wants to do it, like, you know, I mean, he... Yeah. But that's, it. Like, the ones that I've, I've, when it comes to elderly people, I've learned the ones that keep trying and keep moving and keep uh -huh. doing stuff, they, they last longer than the ones that just right. sit well, at he, home and wither away, you know what I mean? didn't tell you that he fell off a ladder. Oh, yeah, and I helped him try to find his glasses and all that stuff. I was like... <sighs> Claude, anything you need, call me. I can do all this stuff. I can do your carpentry well, work, your painting, your trimming your trees or whatever. Yeah. I came over there and he was all beat up and bruised up. And I'm like, what happened? Oh, we're trying to get up there and trim them trees. And I fell off the ladder. I'm like, bro, you don't need to be climbing on a ladder, sir. And he's like, I just, I wanted it done. Yeah. And, and stuff. And Man, I think his wife kind of put a stop. Yeah, she tries to, you know. Kenny, he wanted Kenny to ride with him to the ball game, and they went to Grayford, and Kenny said, we rode right down in the middle of that road, all the way there and all the way back. He said, I'm taking him next time. I said, I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah. 
He's always trying, you want me to give you a ride home? It'll be barely spray. I'm like, I'm good, sir. A little rain ain't going to hurt me. Are you sure, man? Are you sure? He gave me a bunch of nice jeans and stuff. And he's like, then the next time I went and mowed, he's like, why aren't you wearing them jeans? I'm like, I wear this bodysuit to keep all the grass and everything off me. I said, that's the reason I wear this bodysuit. He's like, well, I gave you them pants for you to wear them to work. I said, those are nice pants. I wouldn't work on those until they get stained. Because they, they was some name, I forget what they are. They, they was Levi Silver Tabs or something like that. And I remember back in the day, those was some good jeans. You know, more expensive than the regular jeans. But these days... A t-shirt's $40. Like, are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, I know. It's like you used to be able to buy a pack of seven for $5. Now you got to buy one for 40 I'm like, nah. Yeah, they're pretty bad. It's horrible. And the wages ain't going up, and the price of living's going up. It just don't make no sense. It doesn't. I don't agree. know. I think the, me honestly, I think the, the Congress and the all them people, you know, I think uh -huh. they should be voted in like the president every four years. They shouldn't be able to stay in there and just make laws yeah. to benefit them all their dang life. And yeah. then they get the best health insurance and all that stuff. Yeah. And, and it is good health insurance. Yes, they my, get the best. My mama had it because my daddy, back, I don't know if they still do, but back when my dad uh, first got it back in 62 or something, mm. everybody that worked for the government got that good insurance. Yeah. But I think they should get the same insurance that they give the Social Security disability people and the people on Medicare to Medicaid. That's what I yeah. think. But, you know, I mean, my opinion don't go very far in this world, so I guess it don't matter. I, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I, know. I think it's all rigged. Well, I'm going to get out of here and let you enjoy it. I got to go pick up Kenny because we got to be there before six. Tell Kenny I said hi. Sorry, I've been a stranger, but you know, I, just, I knew y'all was under construction and there's really. Oh, we're. Yeah. But I'm, it's going to be good when we get it all done. Oh, yeah. It's looking nice. I like this counter. It gives you a whole bunch more room up in here. Yeah. That other one took up a lot of room. Well, y'all have a good one. Okay. How you doing in there, ma'am? Fine. How are you? I'm all right. How's the grandson or. The son. The son, I mean. He They're doing. That's good. They're both good. That's good. Yeah. He's still home, or he decided to go back out on uh, his own no, again? No, he's home, but he's working at um, Crazy Water Hotel as the night clerk in Mineral Wells. He started that. I'm leaving you, Cal. Okay. I'll lock up. All right. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah. I'll holler at y'all later. All right. Good deal. Y'all have a good one. All them computers, I should probably ask about them. Don't I know you from somewhere? I used to go to Tiger Mart. Maybe that's what it was when yeah. I worked there. Yeah. All right, back to the, the bike ride. There's the old school, or well, the middle school anyway. Looks like somebody finna do them some remodeling. What time is it? I am no clue, I've been gone 30 minutes. Keep on riding, riding. You know what I'm gonna actually go down here. I know I just mowed it, but I just want to check on it anyways. Cause I know how the old lady is down here. She wants a pretty neat kept yard. So
That guy there, he got, he got some problems. Uh, that looks good. Looky, looky good. Looky, looky good, good. He's growing though. I need to come over here and burn that pile of brush for him. Get to work! Them are the people that hit the, the gas line out in front of my house in the video that I posted saying someone almost died because that dude could have died. They're running around dip putting in the, the internet in. They was over at my house earlier. They did a little bit of installing the box in front of my house. Still gonna be a minute. I wonder what time it is, man. there he just had a triple heart bypass he's still healing and oh, they finally mowed that yard I was gonna ask if they needed like these people here but I just don't see them paying I just know them love someone oh yeah I love you yeah. <laughs> and they just cutting up my roads, making it all horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I think this is going to turn into a longer than a two, a bike, two mile bike ride today. And it's all right. I can feel the burn in my legs. It's a burning, burning. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Can't wave. Can't wave? Get off your damn phone. I wave at people hoping they'll wave back because then I know if they, they see me. I always got to watch my back because they might ever drive around here like they in NASCAR or some shit. If I don't town a 500. This guy here wanted me to remodel his house and then I gave him the bid and he said it was too much. And then the next people gave him a bid. They started doing it. And then they, he didn't pay them. So, left a big ass fucking mess. But that did. Uh, and they've done a really nice job of fixing this house up. Duh. This guy I used to work for, his mom, used to live, did some work in the house but uh every model in that house right there looks good well this is where I'm gonna end this video makes me go to a buddy's house and I'm not gonna be recording in there did some plumber for this house and a bunch of stuff well if y'all made it to the end of this video, which I know 90% of y'all won't, but if you do, comment Mary Jane and Rambo forever in our hearts. I repeat, comment Mary Jane and Rambo forever in our hearts. Y'all have a good one. See y'all on the live stream later.